be me, Imperial Fist's brother Sergeant Jerry and Paulicus. Can hear the champion gurgling and wheezing after brother Samus unloaded into his chest. He helps me up. Good work brother, now. Before I'm able to continue, hear an orcish walkery. Hear the champion attempting to sit up. Turn around and unholster plasma pistol. A disgustingly crudely created wagon with an orcish flamer is charging towards us. Spraying their crude ammunition at my battle brothers and the nearby guardsmen. For a moment they focus fire at Samus who moves to cover. A large orc with hair squigs resembling a moustache jumps onto the chaos champion and begins fighting him. See other battle brothers slowly recovering from warp lightning. Samus and I are the only ones here who manage to avoid the warp lightning. Brothers grab their weapons and open fire on the wagon. Wagon moves out of the way as the head of the champion explodes. If he wasn't dead before he is now. Orc with hair squigs has a large amount of guns on his body. Guns that look a bit heretical. Well, that partially solves the resupply issue. Oh and his right arm is on fire. Realize this orc who seems to be some strange parody of an ancient Terran pirate jumped into fire to kill the champion. He's currently throwing the guns off of him. He raises his right fist and screams. Sparrows Marie Irene at me. I raise my power fist. He goes in for a strike to my chest. I go in for a strike at his burning right arm. With the sheer force of my power fist, I completely destroy his arm. Hear him screaming in pain and ecstasy as he's thrown back into his wagon, which promptly breaks. Several nearby ammo packs blow up around us as we duel, overheating due to being coated in promethium. My attention is suddenly caught by Kato Sicarius screaming and for the Chaos Champion to stand up headless. By dawn, too distracted to notice orcs running away, my face when Kato Sicarius stabs the champion several times. Be me. Dutch Opius Chopper in Dutch Act Up, Gun for Dutch Opper. I think the boss unbombed up left me to get caught. Jits. Just noticed I'm getting Zuggin arm punched off by a space murine. Zogit, I don't need those jits. Grab me last Chopper left and jump at Dayumi pull and you Yumi's up. Get a jit from behind lick mork what I wanted. He kicks me in the gut. I swing me Chopper again. He punches it in two. Well Zog. That's not good. Be me. Chaos dueling tank commander Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Charge has now stopped. We're waiting for resupply. Hear explosions around me. Ordering tank to blow up heretic tanks in front of me. Guardsmen have set up a defensive line. Look around to see an imperial fist sergeant punch the arm off of an orc. The one armed orc and another. Smaller orc then run the fuck off as the now headless chaos champion stands up. See him beginning to attack everyone around him. Watch as he's engaged by that asshole Sicarius. See Sicarius stab him several times through open neck wound. Can see that we're running low on ammo. Fuck that is a lot of heretics. Order Loda to switch from after he. Vox the general and ask him where the fuck the supplies are. As I do. Hitchimer is driving up behind me. Well that answers that. Turn around and order tank to fire into incoming horde. Really hope we're getting back up. Hear general reply that we should be getting extra space marine support as soon as it's called for. See the head, the left arm and the torn apart torso of a knob fly past me. Hear it splatter on the side of the Praetorian Bane blade next to me. Turn to see space marine sergeant ordering several of his men over to the trench. Seems like he's using his vox now. Turn back. Tune into my squad's channel. Four other tanks still in backup. Two lemon rust tanks. One Macharius Vulcan. One Macharius Heavy. Order one Lemon Russ and the Macharius Vulcan to attack from the right flank. Order Macharius Heavy and one Lemon Russ to attack from the left flank. Lemon Russ on the right is further ahead than Vulcan. Has a visual on the Chaos Champion. Tell it to pound a shot into it when Sicarius is far away enough. Notice that the previously scorching sun rays beaming down from above have dim. Look up and notice entire sky to be cloudy as all hell. Here's something hit my tank. Pitter. Patter. Pitter. Patter. A light drizzle has begun falling down on the battlefield. Continue firing as Resipli reaches Hill and Skaterii soldiers along with servitors carrying ammo rush out into the free. Pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter. The drizzle rapidly increases in strength. A regular rain has begun falling on us. 
fire and a space marine obliterator, sending him flying down the hill. Pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter. Rain grows heavy, can see the earth in front of us turning to mud. It's a soothingly warm summer's rain. Doesn't seem like tank is sinking into the mud, not quite that muddy yet. Key word being yet. Can see imperial fists fortifying trench further. Hear something loudly slam into a tank on my right. Vox buzzes. This is Schwarz enforced. Hit confirmed. It's from the lemon rus on the right. Copy. Continue flanking more of her. Over and out. Turn. First notice that those two Cadian and corner tanks from earlier are gone. Ha. Huh. See large tread marks in the ground. Did. Did they fucking tumble off the hill. More importantly however, I can hear Kato Sicarius loudly gloating. I can then hear what sounds like Kato Sicarius grunting. Stand up out of command hatch for better view. Equip binoculars. See Imperial Fist Sergeant and one regular battle brother attack the champion from behind. See Kato Sicarius stagger back and then prox to finally cut open the champion's terminator armor open. Armor seems to have taken quite the pounding. See champion fall apart into a bloody puddle of crushed organs, broken bones and torn apart flesh. His terminator armor now unable to support his broken form, only his legs are left intact. See Sicarius sit down on remaining part of traitor champion's helmet and begin cleaning off his sword as if the imperial fists hadn't been there at all. What an asshole. Shrug. Turn back to front the enemies slowing their advance. Their numbers are now working against them. The muddy hill slowing them down greatly and making heretics trip over each other as they advance. Can see guardsmen celebrating as they get more ammo. See the giant corpse of the Slanishi banner blade slowly start sliding down the hill. We still need to bolster morale. Glubbern dot trophy. Tell tactical officer to take over for me for a bit. Jump down from tank. Fuck this thing is slippery. Not even going to try and jump across different tanks. Run past servitors and tanks as I bolt across the mud. Rushing towards the right. I can hear the cannons of my Vulcan Macharius go off into the slogged down enemy. Panting a bit as running at mud is quite a cumbersome task. Eventually, make it to small, blood and mud covered clearing. Can see Sicarius gloating to the remaining ultramarines. See him tossing the helmet of the Nadir champion around. Most of the front of it is blown the fuck up. One of its horns is half broken. As he tells the remainder of his company of how he and he alone killed the champion I rush up to him. Jump into the air and snatch it by the intact horn as he throws it up again. Must a decently understandable low gothic. I must borrow this for a minute. Hear him notice the helmet's gone. Hear him complaining as I bolt back to my tank. Fuck this thing's heavy. It's weighing me down substantially but it doesn't seem like him or his marines are chasing after me. Get up on tank. Panting. Sheath chaos cutter. Tell secondary gunner to cease fire. Grab onto still firing vanquisher cannon. Tell primary gunner to cease fire. Move to front of tank so the guardsman can hear me better. Raise champion's helmet up by the horns. Shout as loud as I physically can. The heretic commander is slain we have killed him. Shout it several times over so the guardsman can hear me. Shout it first in gothic. Then in Krieger so both Kriegers and Steel Legionaries can understand me. See several traitor guardsmen instantly begin retreating. Chaos starts don't seem to affect it. Move to commander's hatch again. Unsheath Chaos Cutter and drive it into the inside of the broken helmet. Hold it up and point it towards the enemy so they can clearly see it. My face when see avalanche of traitor guardsmen start to try running down the muddy hill. Only to slip and cause a giant human avalanche down the hill. My face when pretty sure I saw several vehicle corpses also start sliding down the hill. My face when all of this while Friedrich is still blasting loyalist metal. B-road trader Stan Imlhausen. Automated rain announcer states the next station is Seraphim Square. Wait a minute, wasn't that where the armory the shuttle crashed into was? We're coming full circle. Stop the train. I want to get off. Wait, it's all automated. We'll have a chance to sneak off at a station. Not this one, though. First, let's investigate the movement. It's people. Wait, why are they pointing guns and do I see mutants? Cultists they must have been hitching a ride on the train too. We just blink at each other for a few seconds. Then, one of them fires the first shot. 
All dive for cover as bullets, bolts and bursts of all kinds fly everywhere in both directions. Nobody can move positions now since the train car is a shooting gallery. Train is taking us closer and closer to where we really don't want to be. Be Steel Legion Corporal. What's left of the cultists have started advancing again. Leading enemies have almost reached the front most friendlies now. Under covering fire by the traitorous starts. Who are also now advancing. Have to keep enemy melee specialists away. Swap out last gun power pack and get back to shooting. Almost immediately catch an autogun round off the helmet. Fall on my ass stunned. Take helmet off. Big dent right where the middle of my forehead would have been. Praise the fucking emperor. Now have a massive headache though. Throw away the ruined helmet and get back to shooting. Cultists are now engaged in melee with the guys closest to the front. Nearby friendlies are falling back. Can't hear the commissar anymore. Traitorous starts aren't even waiting for the front line to be overrun. A few squads of them fucking vault the whole chaotic melee and start laying into the retreating guardsmen. Situation is fucked. Ready to go down fighting. Suddenly hear a very familiar sound. Incoming dot wav. Be me. Dub orc east orc in dusik tire army zog in arm deserts. Anyways yeah. Be dub orc east orc in dusakta. Erko of dakamark. Currently regret in a fio things as me arm drips green blood. Ah well. I copped that big cheo's jet right and proper after da yumi's soft and I'm up for me. Bombas telling me we need to get does or go wt of there and just let da yumi's scrap it owt. I ate to leave a fight, but Zog it I need another arm. Is is thinking da big mech'll make me a miss new power claw. Then I can look lick a right proper freebooter. Then is can crump da you the yumi's dat were chasing me earlier. Bomber prepares to use da to lip water and tells me to wait a few minutes for da big mech to get me off da planet. E vanishes again. Zog that, is still have on Zog in arm left. As I figure wt what to do in da mean will. Spot some space murines sitting on dat jit what I crumped. Da blue jit is sitting on Dutch Ayo's jit's body. Fro high night he zed around lick dat jit did something to help. Right? Is added with this jit today. You asked for this ya jit. I shush a da big blue jit with a class abandon. Scream in me zog in lungs o w t fa gork en mork. Dudget is too busy ached in lick ee -e was important. What a zoggin cunt. As I crash in ta w cunt from bi. Use me good arm to punch dudget lick with dutch ears boy from earlier. This time though, is is at the front per person mind. Punch dudget and da bollocks till his armor fouls off. Grab his bollocks. Pretty small things to be honest. Rip des lich till buggers off as dumb angie jit screams lick a pansy elder. <laughs> my face when me to lip water beacon starts to glow as is is jumping around victorious in me conquest i teleport into what is this place this ain't the hms jit crumpin wigan i'm in a short tunnel look about and notice a bunch of jits firing daka at each uva dayumis are firing bits of daka at each uva some of them are dayumis that were trying to get me in donet earlier ah well the big mech will get me out of this eventually. Run at the Yumi's to keep mess off Okapid and Damien will. 132mm he shells slam into the ground all around me. All around. Not even sure if it's friendly or enemy arty firing on us. Doesn't matter. Just hide in the trench. Barrage goes on for several minutes before finally letting up. Total silence. Carefully stand up and look around. Entire area cratered like the surface of the moon. Shorts walk down the hill and all around the low hill the traitors had come over. Remnants of heretic forces retreating or being finished off by surviving friendlies. Tech priest must have finally managed to get someone on the Vox. Still less than half of our original force survived the battle. Not a single vehicle left operational. Flak vest ruined by shrapnel. Adrenaline so high I didn't even realize I'd been hit. Somehow still not even injured. Commissar is dead. Ranking officer unknown. Traitors most likely just regrouping. Could come back at any time. If we have orders the cogboy hasn't passed them on yet. Whatever they are they still probably won't be good. Be mutant guardsmen. We reach a train station to catch a ride to the armory. We hop on and take our seats. Ex commissar opens the door to the next cart and we see a squad of corpse worshippers right in front of us. 
There's a very awkward pause on both sides. Someone on our side fires a shot and it immediately devolves into a gunfight. With very little cover many of the cultists stuck in the middle get gunned down. Ex commissar is shot into many pieces. Fine by me dot eggs. I'm lucky to get behind a seat along with a few other mutants. We outnumber them but they outclass us with their weapons. The corn cultist tried to rush but ended up looking like the ex commissar. The best thing to do at the moment is to hunker down and keep on firing until we can eventually whittle them down. Or drag the fight on till the train stops. Be me, Black Templar Marshal. Leader of the Jerusalem Crusade. Most of my brothers have taken to screaming Imperat or Vult and charging people with power swords. Weren't those new guys supposedly more sane than the rest of us? Fuck it dot vox. Be roaming around the sector. Start getting reports of heretics and guardsmen engaged in battle alongside ultramarines on some backwater planet. Time for a fucking crusade dot litany. Tell the navigator to make haste for the planet. Go to pray for battle. Time to kick ass for the lord dot him. Be me. Da walkie stalk in da sector. Free booter erko of dakamark. Me arms still hurt in something nasty. Buddy. I has these cheers boys to unwind on in da meanwhile. Da yuva yumi's not test me as well. They start tougher robs and yuva zog at me. They keep missing dear shots cause I tz right zog in small in air. However, is only as one arm to crump jits with. Da word yumi with tentacles on his back is starting to beckon a problem in that regard. Grab anova shooter and shoot da jits tentacles to keep I'm a carpet. Anova chaos yumi cuts me shooter and breaks it. Zog in el not agen. Grab da jit to strangle I'm. Anova Yumi Tris to stab me in Dian. However, I ain't no slow jit. Use me arm to lock I'm in a headlock. Is only as one arm and is still as two Yumi's ready to be copped. As I titan me old on dudgets. Me teleporter beacon glows again. Wait a minute is is. End up back on da cruiser. With a big mech stand in deer with a right zog in naz t look on his face up. Still have da Yumi's in me arm. So just keep them deer for a minute. Also notice me why Eggmonet has gone off. Oi, what's going on air? Dumek explains that all that teleporting about has drained Da Cruiser's energy, and we has to let it recharge. Dunno what all that meant but it meant that we can't go back to Da Planet unless we ain't Zogin coming back. Zog it, and it was just getting gunned. Titan Da old on Da Yumi is a bit more to let off some anger. Da Big Mech does say we gone get enough energy faz to have that why Eggmonet on. And to send an of a few rocks down. I gets a fiendish plot in me head. Be me. Sunt. Nightmare demon. Times are tough. In a planetary war zone. There's not many people asleep so I can devour their dreams. Kinda hungry Disu. Hehehe <laughs> hey, I found perhaps the only sleeping gordsman in the system. This cruiser doesn't have many orcs on it. But it does have a lot of Zogin Grots and Gretchen and Yuva Little Jits. Tell da big mech to organ is da Little Jits into da rocks. So that we can send em down to the town of Cheers boys and make it orky. In the mean will he'll make me some new gubbins for me arm and da da in me body. Tie un into the wag monitor with da captured yumis as da Cheers boy town becomes full of dozens of grots and gretchens. My face when. Be Imperial Fist's tactical marine. Samus. Brother Sergeant Paul Lucas and I got the drop on the champion still fighting body. Kato fucking Shatarius lands the final blow and acts like he did all the work. Fucking prick. Decide to pull back to our friendly armor and infantry holding the captured ridge. Spot a familiar trooper lying face down in the mud. Looks like they're still breathing after being used as a club by an orc. Good thing it's raining or I was going to start looking like a traitor with my armor covered in blood and mud. Yank the trooper out of the mire. Give them a few good shakes to get the mud off. The battle is not over. If you live you may serve the emperor yet. Carry them by the back of their flak armor up the ridge. Drop them off by one of the supply laden chimeras. Equip yourself and return to your unit. Quickly. Pick up some ammo for my bolt gun while I'm at it. Hopefully the presence of our chapter helps morale. This heavy rain certainly doesn't help entrenching efforts. I know that. The defeat of the enemy champion seems to have created another lull in the battle. Our forces having to resupply means the enemy has time to rally and reformulate. They may be bringing up reinforcements already. A bitter truth that I feel means this battle is far from over. Be me Black Templar Marshal. 
Finally get in system. Find a total clusterfuck going on. Orcs. Chaos. Imperial Guard. Hey Imperial Fists are here. And Ultramarines. Damn it why is it always Ultramarines? Pass by the Orc ship. Ready boarding torpedoes. It's time to ruin some Xenos day. Be me. Once again tankless tank commander Diederik Kolheim's Chaos Cutter. After the enemy began rooting, it seems that someone who wasn't me called in a fucking artillery strike on this position. Guardsmen hardly noticed that enemy commander has been slain. Indeed, the traitor guardsmen and the front didn't seem to notice either. But I'm pretty sure we managed to take out most of them. Tank engine is busted. Secondary and tertiary ammo dump blew up. Pretty sure everyone in the turret is alive. Remember our ordering squadron to retreat as artillery fell. Wonder if they're alive. Punch open hatch. Rain is still pouring down. There are destroyed or heavily damaged tanks all around me. Several busted chimeras. And a bunch of space marines. Step out of commander's hatch and pull out tactical officer. Then pull out driver. Grab both of them and roll off of the hood of our burning heap of a tank. The two battle cannon sized holes and the basilisk cannon sized hole in the front of my borrowed Macherius is giving me a pretty good idea of what took me out in the confusion. See the arm of a defiler stuck in the hill. Remember that we managed to hit that before everything went completely to shit. Well, for us at least. Slowly stand up. Everything hurts. What hurts even more is that I'm still alive. No redemption for me. TXT. Let go of driver and tactical officer. See my Chaos Cutter lying on the ground, the helmet of the Chaos Champion still on it. Look up into the sky. See a sight that reminds me of my moors. A starts drop pods painted yellow. A fair amount of them. Watch as they crash into what remains of the enemy. Limp towards the trench. Can see what looks like a helmetless Armageddon Corporal standing up. He looks at me. I look at him. He then looks at the helmet I have on my sword. Raise up the sword and begin shouting for anyone who's still alive to turn towards my voice. See several guardsmen shifting and turning, slowly sitting up. Shout, the enemy is crushed our sacrifices have amounted to a victory. Get some small amount of cheering back from the guardsmen. Commissars are either too dead or too wounded to force them to cheer. Understand why, I feel like they do after all. Point sword into the sky, towards the descending drop pods. The angels of the emperor are here to help us still look they are descending from the heavens we have won. Several guardsmen turn around. Substantial amount of cheering now. I still miss my tank. Sigh and look down at corporal. Hey wait a minute. Is that? Holy shit. Jump down into trench. Wipe mud, blood and guts from his face. That's the Cadian from earlier. I think he's alive. Turn to corporal and ask him to help me stand him up. Corporal does as he's asked and we begin moving out of the trench. Several chimeras start driving up. They've got red crosses on the side. Call for medic. Wave chaos cutter around signifying that I'm an officer. Two medics rush up with a stretcher. Gently put down commissar on stretcher. Look up and notice someone inside. Is that Oswald? Holy god Kaiser he's covered in blood. I wonder what he was doing this whole time. Wave at him and he waves back. Medic about to grab me before I tell him to wait. Begin limping towards rest of crew. Corporal still seems to be helping. After putting driver and tactical officer on stretchers, I turn around towards the space marines. Pretty sure the corporal ran off to help the rest of his steel legionary brothers. Remove champion's helmet from sword. Slowly move towards remaining imperial fists. Sergeant is occupied counting the losses. See white space marines running around helping other space marines. All but one imperial fist seem to be too busy doing imperial fist stuff. Approach him. Slowly. Hear sergeant refer to him as. Brother Samus before I finally reach him. Muster my painfully gritted through gothic. I believe this belongs to you angels of the emperor. He turns around and looks down at me. Hold forward helmet to him. You are wounded tanker. You should seek medical attention before giving out trophies. First I must locate a vox so that I may speak to my squadron. The imperial fist points to a guardsman sitting against a busted tank. Put the helmet in his open left palm and limp my way over to the vox caster. Give the helmet to your commander and a vizier.
Tell Unwounded Man operating the Vox to switch over to my squadron's channel. Fumbles for a second before finding the right one. Turn on Vox loudspeakers. Get status report. Everyone's knocked out. Here and some. Several tanks outright completely destroyed. Others just lost some crew. Here and some. Why couldn't I be one of them? Sire the Emperor clearly wants me to further atone for my sins. Another day, it seems. Look around for a moment. Spot heavily wounded Rijan laying next to several dead cultists in the trench. Limp forward slowly but surely. Check if she's alive. Yup.png. Decide to help out the medics. Thrust sword into mud. Slowly kneel down. With the strength that remains in my body, pull her out of the trench and put my arm around her shoulder. Rip sword out of mud and begin using it as a cane. Limp to Chimera supporting the Guards woman. My face went it and even get to die with the other Kriegers. Friedrich's still blasting a starts metal. B road trader Stanimal Herzen and company. Opening volumes down several cultists trapped in the open and one with a fancy hat. Not as fancy as my hat. Bling. Some well placed shots from Tolria's shuriken pistol even managed to down a couple through their cover while Dick and Dom fill the carriage with lead and the voidsman spew Lathar. The fight is going our way. We might just get out of this one yet. Suddenly, a massive orc missing an arm appears in a flash of light in the chaos carriage. He charges the cultists unarmed, squashing, strangling and smacking them out the windows. Nobody can shoot for shit in this tight space. He plows through the cultists and grabs a gun, shooting at the mutant in the back. He grabs the mutant and teleports out as quickly as he came. The park comes to life. Apparently nobody noticed that we've arrived at a station. This is... Seraphim Square. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. If you are leaving this service, please make sure you have all personal belongings with you when you depart. Doors open and the surviving cultists leg it out of the destroyed carriage into the station. Welcome aboard this church line service calling at... Bankworks. Bread Market. August Street. Packstone. Branet. Grok's bridge into Stella spaceboat. Fantastic. HM. That teleporter was probably going to a ship in orbit. That dastardly pirate isn't getting away again. I've had enough of this blasted planet anyways. Settle down in a seat and pull a copy of the Imperial Times from a bin. Apparently TA you have been sighted a couple of systems away. Not our problem nomad. Be me. Black Templar Marshal. Several squads have been deployed to board the Orc ship. The main prize however, is still the planet. Our cousins in the Imperial Fists are on the planet, and Chaos is present as well. It is time for us to make our entry. Decide to land in a Thunderhawk with a squad for the time being. No sense in wasting good drop pods. The loading ramp lowers for my squad and I. Take the first step only to sink into my ankles in mud. Ignore it and continue forward to what appears to be the main Astartes camp. Need to find out what the situation is. The Imperial Fist's tactical marine, Samus. Reloading some of my empty magazines. The Krieg tanker that lost his moors earlier approaches me. He holding the remnants of the Chaos Champion's Terminator helmet. Says it belongs to me and my brothers. You are wounded tanker. You should seek medical attention before giving out trophies. Says he needs to find a Vox. Understandable considering the recent battle. Set down the magazine I'm holding and take the helmet. Give the helmet to your commander and a ear. These humans may not be marines, but they never fail to surprise. Brother Sergeant Jerry and Paul Lucas should get this. We can inscribe the names of those that fought this day into it. Pick up my ammo and take the helmet over to Brother Sergeant. Present him with the battered Terminator helmet. A trophy gifted to us from a guardsman. It should be yours to scrimshaw. Be Steel Legion Corporal, pulling the dead crew out of the wreckage of a lemon rust to throw into a mass grave at the base of the hill's north side. Such is life in the guard. Afterward wander off to try to find a new helmet. Apparently much closer to friendly lines than we thought, a bunch more random guardsmen pull up to the hill. Can hear someone important sounding chewing out the tech priest. Can't really feel sorry for him even though we were about to be overrun. Still looking. Suddenly notice a death corpse tank commander of all people staring at me. Was definitely not planning on salvaging Wargear from the dead. He just keeps staring. Can't stop looking at his fancy chainsword. 
I guess strong because he suddenly shouts out to inspire the rest of the men. Not much enthusiasm. Then he mentions that there were space marines nearby. Goddamn tech priest. Help the Krieger with pulling a wounded Cadian out of the mud. Then GTF away from the crazy bastard as soon as possible. Fucking Kriegers. End up drafted by a medici for recovering the wounded. Hopefully I'll be able to ride back with them and get the fuck off the front. Nope. Another Steel Legion regiment was in the area. Grabbing all of the uninjured survivors of my regiment to replace the losses in theirs. The ride never ends. At least these guys have all their armor. Also warger, ammunition, and rations. Their captain even promoted me to sergeant to fill out the ranks. Sergeant Amorous Instantius. Never thought I'd see the day. My squad are good lads, made up from loose guardsmen from both regiments. Even recognized two of them from the battle earlier. Lieutenant explains to me that our unit is going to cover the flanks of the heavy armor's push into Groxbridge. Objective is to prevent chaos from reinforcing the town by land and securing fire control over the west side. We move out in 3 hours. Be mutant guardsmen. Shoot out and the train is dragging on for a while. Out of nowhere, a fucking freebooter teleports in. This was not a part of the plan. Panic. Everyone focuses fire onto the freebooter. It doesn't do shit as it focuses on us cultist. It fucking obliterates everyone it got its hand on us. I just stare like a scared child as I have a traumatic flashback. I get slammed out this flashback and out of the train window by the orc using another mutant as a meaty weapon. I hit the ground hard and roll for a while. I gasp for air after I come to a full stop on the mudded concrete. I lay there, looking at the dark skies as it starts to rain again, making the place wetter and muddier as I try to regain my energy. Standing back up I see the train make its stop at the armor and armed Pulis rush to the station as alarms go off. Though I'm terrified of the free booter still there, I really want to get better armor and weapons and begin to make my way to the armory. B road trader Stan Imlhausen. Only have time to read the news headlines before it gets covered in water from a hole in the roof. How it is raining underground. Suppose a stray shot must have hit a water pipe. Water is also turning the trackside dust and dirt into a foul mud. To add to the insult my soggy newspaper is then very rudely shot out of my hands. Hit the deck as a hail of stubber and autogun fire and the occasional last bolt smashes into what's left of the carriage. Apparently the fleeing cultists fetched their buddies from the armory, and they are considerably better armed. The beeping noise as the doors close and whine from the motors as the train pulls away has never been more welcome. Next 5 stations are uneventful. Only get shot at at 3 of them. Train emerges from the tunnels into beautiful countryside for the last leg to the spaceboat to the west of town. Looks like it's rained recently, and the smoke plumes and remaining clouds are turning a brilliant red as the pair of suns slip away, and 4 of the planet's 7 moons are in the sky. I could get used to surroundings like this. But I must leave this place. It has done enough damage already and my target still needs crumping as they say in their butchered gothic. Spaceboat is coming into view. Terminal seems intact. Looks like there are even a few PDF troops scattered around. This is... Groxbridge Interstellar Spaceboat. This train terminates here. All change, please. Remember to disguise toll rear as we alight. We must have looked quite the sight. Four batted voidsmen. Two bruised ogrin. A totally not an elder and a man in a filthy, extravagant uniform with a magnificent hat. One of the PDF on the platform comes running up. Looks like he wants to talk to us. Beamy Black Templar. Where the fuck is everybody? We've been walking around here for an hour now and there's no one in this camp. Turn to look at the banner bearer. He's in conversation with one of the sword brethren and the apothecary, all of whom are looking at a map on the wall. Apparently we landed near an armory. Then notice a train roll in. Finally some people. Someone gets thrown out the window and lands at my feet. It's a guardsman, covered in chaos iconography. Sire we've figured it out. The pilot landed us near the wrong base. Fuck this day. Be me. Imperial Fist's brother Sergeant Jerry and Paulicus. Rounding up total losses so far with the help of one or two tech priests. First our own, then those of the Ultramarines. We've lost in total 8 battle brothers including those who are too wounded to continue fighting for today. Second squad took the brunt of the damage, even lost their brother Sergeant. 
Wonder who's going to get the promotion when Samus approaches me. Turn around and see that he's holding a party destroyed Horned Terminator helmet in his hands. A trophy gifted to us from a guardsman. It should be yours to Scrimshaw. Not as Samus turns and walks away. Put aside data slate and place helmet on nearby crate. I'll have to settle for just writing down the names of battle brothers present at this battle. Far too many guardsmen to count. Turn around and pick up data slate again. See what looks like a thunderhawk belonging to the black templars flying by for a moment. What on earth are our cousins doing here? Turn towards Voxcaster guardsman relaxing against the wreckage of a tank. Order him to contact the templars. Voxcaster fumbles around for about a minute. Finally he manages to contact them. Hear the sound of Black Templar shouting battle cries and heretics screaming loudly over Vox. Decide it might be a better idea to wait. Memorize Vox address so I can communicate with these cousins of ours later. Tell Voxcaster operator to tune out. He does so with utmost speed. Go back to counting losses and waiting for further orders. Be mutated guardsman. After taking a few steps something clicks something in my brain and I stop in my tracks. I turn around and a squad of space marines who were just standing there, looking at a map with the one adorned in black armor staring. All color in my face disappears as I realize just how fucked I am. For a second I'm just frozen there, but the next I'm just running as fast as my tentacles can take me. Nope dot avi. Be me black templar. At this point everyone looks up from the map. I'm tapping my foot. Well get that motherfucker the squad thunders after him. Me in the lead, power sword in one hand, plasma pistol in the other. Brother Damocles is roaring with laughter, holding the banner high while still running. The apothecary is already firing a bolt pistol at the fucker. I couldn't be more proud of their gusto. Be terrified mutant guardsman. Running for my life as a squad of black templars chases me. The legs give me extra speed, but there's no way I can outrun a space marine, let alone a whole squad of them. One of them blasts off the broken leg that had, leaving the new leg free of its broken leg cage. This puts me off balance sending me to tumble down an incline. My tentacles help me recover as quickly as possible, the tumble has let them catch up significantly. All other cultists that can see this and are smart enough to not engage sound off the alarm. Really wish I was a psyche dotwalk. As if things couldn't get worse, I slip on the mud and start sliding forward at what felt like a speeding truck with no control. I screech in fear as I zoom forward and crash into a sandbag wall. My legs catch the wall send me crashing into the mud. I lose all consciousness as my head hits something hard hidden in the mud. Be Black Templar. Did that fucker seriously trip and fall on his face? Alright, sorta takes the fun out of it, but oh well. Walk up and look down at the bastard. Ugh. Tentacles. Why is it always tentacles why couldn't it be a bear claw or an insect leg? Or something other than slimy friggin tentacles for once. Finish the fucker off with a shot to the head. Other cultists all around us. Time to clear out this den of degenerates. Shout orders. Squad fans out and begins cutting down cultists. One of the sword brothers notes that we were hailed by some guardsmen during our chase. Well it's about fucking time. Call them back over the sound of gunfire. This is Marshall Hats. What do you require guardsmen? Be me. Imperial Fist's brother Sergeant Jerry and Paulicus. Hear guardsman's voxcaster blaring. Before he has the chance to tell me. I charge over. Things still on full volume. This is Marshall Hats. What do you require guardsmen? Greetings Black Templars. I am Brother Sergeant Jerry and Paulicus of the Imperial Fist's 5th Company. Inform them that I saw their Thunder Hawk flying by some minutes before sunset and assume that they weren't given a briefing before going planet side. Get the answer that they came unannounced and received no briefing as they expected to land near friendly troops. Inform them of the past events of the day, along with the amount of ultramarines and space marines still alive. Pretty sure I heard a slightly disappointed grunt or two in the background. Inform them that large amounts of the Imperial Guard have been wounded or slain and as such they are currently resupplying for a further counterattack. Here agreeing grunts from Black Templars. Where is the counterattack headed? Towards the exact city that you are in. Pals as Imperial Aeronautica forces fly overhead. However, watch out for Marauder Bombers. They accidentally bombed some of the Guardsmen here and previously rendered the city a burning husk. 
It would not surprise me if you get caught in one of their bombing runs. Duly noted. Wish Black Templar good luck and have Voxcaster unit change channels again. Got orders previously that me and my brothers were to aid the counter-attack. 40 more tactical marines, one more centurion, a dreadnought and several rhinos are now present on planet. We are to leave within an hour. Order squad to pack up. Have already engraved names of battle brothers from my squad. The squad we deployed with an centurion into terminator helmet. Let it rest on a small crate. Order rearguard guardsmen to watch over it and make sure it isn't lost. B trooper Monica Jernwick, 78th Rision Light Infantry. Wake up again, this time I am face down in the mud. It is raining now. I swallow a couple of gulps of water from the puddle my face is partially submerged in, it is refreshingly cold and mercifully free of blood. For some reason everything is quiet. The battle cannot have ended this quickly, I wonder if I am dead. I feel something drag me out of the mud. Pain returns, I black out again. Be me, martial hands. Finally know what's going on here. Call in the entire crusade company from orbit. The crusade is in full swing, purging occurring left and right. Pretty sure some of the city is on fire. Doesn't matter. Purging must be carried out. I refuse to have those fucking blueberries steal the credit for all of our work again. Litanies are howled, throats are slit, bodies explode, and projectiles of all kinds fly through the air in a dance of death. It all seems to come together almost like music. Smile beneath my helmet. This. This is what I was born to do, and by the Emperor I love my job. Be Imperial Fist's Tactical Marine, Samus. Resupplied and ready to follow Brother Sergeant Paulicus. Watching the enemy held city erupt into flames for the third time, the Templars have always been Dawn's more Enthusiastic sons. Hopefully I won't have to exchange many words. Be Mark of Siege. Aqua soul from coward after his head becomes non-existent. Finally. Apparently I'm supposed to bring his body back as a sort of demon spawn. Nor fuck that. Cowards don't deserve a second chance. Feed off his soul and look around with a still intact eye. There's a lot of mud. Like. Just mud. A lot of mud and grey skies. This entire place looks the same. Unacceptable. Time for a change in scenery. Siege. Put soul energy to better use and start making special plant seeds to give this place some greenery. Gonna need some sickers to help grow these seeds fast. Use rest of soul energy to attempt summoning a heretic sicker or powerful demon with a ping of psychic energy to plant and grow these seeds somewhere safe. Stop glowing and become dormant again with multiple seeds inside the muddy cadaver. Be Black Templar High Marshal. Going room to room clearing out heretics and mutants. By room to room I mean clearing out a room, then busting through the wall into the next one. Doors off immortals.codex. Something feels off now. Mortals call it a gut feeling. Some of the younger battle brothers refer to it as a heresy detector. Probably just all of these mutants and blood stains on my armor. It'll wash off. Idly hope my brothers aren't too enthusiastic with the purging. The last time we burned down a city, the planety governor sent us a bill. A bill. Naturally we shot him and refused to pay it but the point stands. Be random loyalist citizen. Been hiding in my tiny closet from the cultists. Survived this far on luck alone. Hear the traitor screaming about space marines. The emperor's angels are coming. I might survive. Crack open the closet door to watch. A massive armored soldier bursts through my wall. The door was literally right next to him. Don't care. I'm saved. Emerge from hiding to praise this demigod for my salvation. My face when met with rapid bolt of fire and unintelligible screaming about heretics. My face when die painfully only for my soul to go to the warp and spend never and forever in unimaginable agony as my soul is ripped to infinite shreds by warp spawn. Evasive warfare dot assaulting an incursion or planetary defense fleet called a army. Warp drive overlays and other warp powers. T12 combat warp pulses. Imperial agents in low level jobs. Void shreds. Imperial agents in middle level jobs. Elder. 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 The Imperium can afford it. No one can escape this shit. No one really wants to do it. All of us want something similar for a reason. Just for the hell. The fuck. 
Just a damn fun game and I'll keep playing it until the fucking thing explodes on this world. Be chaos undivided rearguard trooper. Now frontline trooper. Things have been going to shit all day. Narrowly survived the city exploding into flames twice. More space marines have shown up and the place is on fire again. Curl up in my little hole in the bottom of the trench just outside Skull Heap, formerly Grox's Bridge. Try not to cry. Pray to the gods for guidance and inspiration. Pray for Korn's rage to carry me through the battle. Pray for Tsinch for the cunning and luck to take on enemies much larger than myself. Pray for Nurgle and Slanesh to wish me luck while I'm at it. It's not like it could hurt my situation any more than it already is. Grip onto my autogon and wait. Wait for the gods to reply. Wait for my chance to drive back the imperial lap dogs. Be Nurgling. Be wandering about to find some friends. Find a mortal in a trench praying to the gods. I can feel the fear emanating off of him as he prays. Feel bad for him. Hop on into the trench and give him a hug to make him feel better. Tell him Papa Nurgle's watching over him along with other gods and that he'll be alright. Today's been a great rainy day. Be me, Aeronautica Imperialis Ace Lawrence Falk, in charge of Thunderbolt Squad and Silver. Entering atmosphere of a planet called Muse to escort some Avengers. Got some lightnings with us too for good measure. Backwater agri world with a chaos incursion. An odd combination. But I suppose I've been in stranger situations in my many years of service. Here there are space marines deployed here. Neat, I might get to fly alongside a thunderhawk. As we're flying over the terrain the heavy rainfall that was present when we first made our entry through the atmosphere is fading away. We missed one hell of an infantry slugfest while another squadron was having dogfights in the sky with traitor PDF. Crushed blue space marines, what I think are chaos space marines, vehicles and guardsmen of all loyalties are strewn about the muddy terrain, blood and guts everywhere, pretty sure I see part of the hill randomly flashing for a second, what in the name of the emperor dot ace, vox infantry to go and check that out, continue on with my mission, we're supposed to be continuing the assault on the burning heap of a city, going to soften it up just a tiny bit more, we enter in the cover of night. We are barely visible. Primary objective is to down any enemy pilots trying to escape the planet or attack our ground forces. Order sizable squadron to spread out as Avengers descend into city. Spot something near the spaceboat. Think that's a Black Templar's Thunderhawk. Oh hey cool. But that's not it though. Something. Something else. Then. See that familiar red color scheme. Oh yes. Ahuyeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
dogfighters moving higher and higher into the air, missiles flying through the sky as Imperial infantry are advancing, break out of the way for missile, still moving towards Thunderhawk, break, break, break again, lean into Vox, 50% sure heretic can hear me if I tweak it a bit, there we go, this is silver 1 to swift death, feel the fury of the emperor you are all over and out, break out of the way for a final time, I've ended up above thunderhawk, broke around in such a way that the missile is now below the thunderhawk, luckily enough for me we're on a diagonal path towards one another, missiles too close to realize where the target is, too dumb to realize it's going to hit a friendly, missile slams into the engine of a thunderhawk, they aren't firing at me it seems. I think they're out of ammo. Here Heretica starts screaming as they fall out of Thunderhawk. Oh yeah, they're out of ammo. Sweet PNG. Perform J turn. See more Thunderbolt approaching Thunderhawks. Also see Swift Death getting torn to shreds by another lightning approaching from underneath. My face when. Tweak Vox. Silver 1 to Silver Squadron. Do not. I repeat. Do not let those Thunderhawks escape through the atmosphere. Be Thunderhawk pilot. Devoted to Slanish in pursuit of perfection. Spent millennia perfecting the art. Some hotshot loyalist with a few decades under his belt thinks that something as bulky as an Astart's transport is an easy target. No one expects the Thunderhawk to pull hard maneuvers at low altitude. No one expects a Thunderhawk to perform the famous Immelman maneuver. No one expects the great pilot Drogo Fuckfister. B 118th Grand Company of Iron Warriors. Looking to add our forces to some righteous war. Arrive in system. Ah yeah fuck this we're out. Be Inquisitor Zeke. Well, seems the reinforcement call can be revoked. Imperials are really fucking over the heretics and orcs. Disappointed because didn't get to deploy a little mobile fortress on heretics.vox. On the other hand it seems that the Imperial forces have themselves gave this place a name before the bureaucrats. Still the bureaucrats get to chose its official name, but the current one will do. Feel glad that this will be over soon. Might go on vacation to a paradise world. Still gotta explain to the Lord Inquisitor that sent me here why I haven't tested out the prototype. By the seven moons of this mud pit I'm gonna love leaving it. Be me Black Templar. Still murdering our way through chaos and such. Full scale war going on here. Get a call from the battle barge. Something's entering in system. Something. Unidentified. What the fuck? Ask him to explain. I don't get a response. Be the great pilot of Slanesh. Drugo Fuckfister. Finish off a line at warp dust before the first lightning maker pass. Nose down to minus 45 degrees. Drop the throttle and apply air brakes. Drop a solid 50 meters before pushing the throttle and leveling off. The lightning shoots high and rockets past. Nail his port side engine from underneath with a burst of bolt of fire from my cockpit. Pull gradually back up to my starting altitude as the lightning spirals to a fiery death. Scratch another kill tally into the fuselage outside my shattered window. Another fast mover tries its luck. Pull a tight Immelman. The rookie pilot tries to pull the turn at full speed. Laugh as his momentum widens his maneuver and he dives straight into the city below. Another bites the warp dust. Be Rackle businessman. Get fleet of accountant Rackle. Make way to this system via acquiesced warp drives from a hostile merger. Prepare to audit the system. The Rackle ship fires a boarding torpedo with a team of experts. Be heretical sicker. Hiding a space marine's clean house. Gods help me dot warp. Feel a rush of psychic energy ping from close by. Investigate once shooting dies down. Find a mutated headless corpse with the mark of Tsinch. This is where the ping came from, but I have no idea why. Investigation reveals nothing special, except for the mark that has a residual psychic energy mark. Okay then, guess I'll take it to give to the nerdlings to play with it. Cut out the skin with the mark of Tsinch and start dragging the body back to our main base as stealthfully as I can. Really wish I had some physical prowess. Be me, Black Templar Marshal. Well, house has been mostly clean, but the gut feeling hasn't gone away. Begin to backtrack as brothers continue to clean house. On my way back, I try to hail the strike cruiser again. Apparently they're being boarded while they board another ship. 
what the fuck whoever they are, they are tearing through the surfs and neophytes. Order the boarding units back up to the ship and do what they can, if all else fails, blow the cause if we can't get there in time, make for the Thunderhawk. We need to get back up there, as soon as possible. Be Rackle CEO, be boarding an unlicensed human vessel. Be repossessing all the items of value of these animals who failed to pay their tax. Be clearing through the humans, not a single one has produced a license in solid uranium glass. Most untidy operation this quarter. None of them seem to respond well to screaming in the uranium powered Alamey flash and scanny stats machines. They don't respond well to particle degradation and it's insufferably annoying. Be heretical sicker. Hear heavy footsteps. Oh fuck space marines. Stop dragging mutant corpse and lay down among other corpses to stay hidden. Footsteps come and pass. Stay there for a while longer. The rain starts again. Get back up from the ground. Robes are all mudded. Dang it these were new. Resume dragging the body to reunite with the other sickers and heretics. Be Black Templar. Screaming on board the ship gets more frequent. Apparently they've made it to the engine room. Fuck fuck fuck. Thunderhawk got shot to pieces during the dogfight going on in orbit. We're stuck on the ground, damn it. We need to get into orbit. Soon, B Road Trader Stanimlhausen. A groggy Daenerys comes stumbling out of the carriage. In the grim darkness of the 42nd millennium, people still fall asleep on trains. PDF Trooper looks between us and the destroy train a few times, fortunately he pays Tolrian no attention. Finally he speaks I'm sorry sir, but all scheduled of world services are currently suspended due to military requirements. Try my best to look disappointed, and wander off into the terminal. Place is a hive of military activity, Imperial Guard troops streaming into arrivals, supplies being carted through customs, transport shuttles being unloaded. Landing and taking off and the baggage carousel is full soldier packs and lasguns. This place must be supplying the whole war effort, be a shame if something were to happen to it. In any case, I need a spacecraft to get back to my ship and go after that pirate. Slip out a side door onto the spaceboat apron. It's well and truly dusk now, and the smoky haze blowing in from the city deepens the gloom. Should be easy enough to sneak around. Let's go jack ourselves the biggest and flashiest shuttle we can find. I'm sure the guard won't mind, and probably won't even notice. Be me, Imperialis Aeronautica Ace Lawrence Falk. Most Thunderbolts are now moving towards the Thunderhawks, a couple still engaged in dogfighting. The lightnings are closer to the ground than we are, they are currently engaging Hell Talons. See Thunderhawk lower than the others. The craft seems to be a bit... pink. Omnitia not this shit again dot regret. See him pull an immel man on a lightning and blink off its engines. Time to have ourselves a good OLED duel. With some friends of course. Vox woman to get the fuck over to where I am. He's still alive thank the emperor. Can't afford to let any heretics escape. And this pilot seems like he's pretty keen on not dying. Not gonna have it. Descend with him towards the rapidly moving. Turning. Breaking and generally maneuvering Thunderhawk. Can hear noise cannon firing from Thunderhawk. Fucking slanishy dubstep. Absolutely disgusting. I go in for lag pursuit while Wingman performs horizontal slash. Thunderhawk goes for a rapid climb and then goes full throttle. It's whooshing around Wingman. Cutting its engines periodically and trying to get him to overshoot. See Wingman almost overshoot. He narrowly avoids the scannon and heavy bolter before descending and flying through a sort of gate formed by two hive spires having toppled over one another among the burning wreckage. Still a fair ways behind Thunderhawk. Don't think the Slanishy has noticed me yet. Full throttle as Thunderhawk goes under the gate. Get a good visual on the engines attached to the wings. Fire the scannons four times in total. Mathepica performs tight 180 degree turn and a climb. Completely avoiding the scan and fire. See stray the scan and shots fly at wingman. Two out right miss. Two hit left wing twice. God emperor damn it. See his craft twirling about in the air before dipping. Hear him through vox. Silver 2 to silver 1. I'm hit. Losing altitude. Might have hit his left side engine. Pray to the omnisia that I haven't. Silver 1 to silver 2. 
crash land outside the city if you have to. Vox goes quiet for a moment as I hear a small explosion below me. I think I might have just shot down my own wingman. Tank short burst of heavy bolt of fire before evading the scan and blasts narrowly. Silver 2 to Silver 1. Still alive. I have a visual on target. Over. Wingman just deployed a bomb to temporarily fake his own death. Might still be visible on Auspex O. Thunderhawk 2 focused on me to notice that he isn't dead yet. Now's my chance. This big boy isn't exactly a lightning when it comes to maneuverability, but it'll get the job done. Alright then Slanishi, let's pull some air show stunts. He's behind me now. Pitch up. Begin performing slightly wider than average culbit to the best of my maneuverability. End up above him halfway through. See him slowing down and pitching up. He's still close to full throttle. Decrease throttle with great speed. At 1500 kmph. He's at maybe 1750 kmph. He's moving his tech heresy slanishy dubstep cannon to fire. Nearly there now. Fire. C2 hell strike missiles fly up. Pretty sure slanishy noticed it on all specs. He's forced to break to avoid missiles suddenly flying up at him. Bingo. Fire both less cannons twice mid break. One shot hit the left wing's flaps. Three hit his left wing engine. Watch as that big fucking engine combusts. He's losing control of his craft. Tweak Vox. Pretty sure I'm on his channel considering all that screaming and moaning. Blast the flamenco going through my cockpit at him via Vox. Hear him begin yelling profanities as one hell strike flies after and smashes into the bottom of his craft. Other is unable to reach target and just explodes above his cockpit. Change channel back to wingman. Silver 1 to Silver 2. Yo buddy. Still alive over. Silver 2 to Silver 1. Landing at space boat for repairs. Over. Silver 1 to Silver 2. Copy that. Stay alive. Over and out. Pretty sure I see a Black Templar Thunderhawk emergency landing on mudded field outside of Groxbridge as Slanishy Thunderhawk gets grounded. Increase throttle as rain starts falling down on my cockpit again. Be heretical sicker. Finally drag body to one of our bunkers. Be winded after dragging it for that long. Take it inside and meet up with the other sickers. They're preparing to summon more demons to buy time for reinforcements to arrive. Hand them the mark of Tsinch and give the body to the little corpse pit the nerdlings have. Their little squeals of joy are cute. Start helping summon demons. Halfway through the mark starts to glow from the present warp energies. That's a good sign. Nerglings are making a commotion at the corpse pile. Take a glance at what they are doing. See some weird looking plant growing from the mutant corpse. What? Nerglings are going wild about new life being born on this planet. The plants and roots are growing slowly using the corpses as fertilizer and warp energies as fuel to grow. Summoning demons turns into growing warp plants as the plants continue to spread through the bunker into the outside. We begin doing rituals to let the warp plants spread and grow to increase the hold of chaos on this planet. Have to keep a distance since one of us got speared and pulled into the brush by a blood like appendages. The gods will be most pleased with us. Especially Tsinch for turning this boring mud planet into a planet of diverse warp life. Praise the dark gods.png. Bjork. Be Storm Boy. Storm Boys go to kill Humies. Runford bring Gretchen. Widboy comes along. Wug.gif. Gretchen get away from Runford. Humies stomp all of them. Storm Boys die. Every orc head explodes. My face when Widboy dies. My face when all orcs die. Be me Yago twice cursed. Renegade Iron Warrior. Never been a very good fighter. Never been very good at planning battles. Really, most of the things I'm involved with turn out disastrous. A skill very handy when I plan this attack. No better diversion. Currently breaking atmosphere in Thunderhawk Transporter. Sky is filled with blazing munitions. No easy entry, but this was what Thunderhawks were made to survive. Hastily touch down in a roughly peaceful location. Special Auspex says this is close enough. Disembark with my servants. Sick are currently encased in a suppression hood until he is needed. Dishonored Necron Lich God. Don't really know his deal, but he's proven unusually trustworthy. What my plasma pistol is largely for. Several human stormtroopers who are truly trustworthy as in I can kill them with my bare hands. 
Unload the massive burrowing engine the Thunderhawk transporter is carrying. Begin drilling down into the mark. Descend underground. Beamy Bragan Anand Lorenthal, chief of Groxbridge on Swordways, and soon to be governor of Musee. In my political career, I have learned that the best way to win, is to not fight your opponents directly, but to be the last one standing. And as of now the former governor's mansion is a pile of mud and bricks being used as a forward base for a regiment of creatures. In fact, I must congratulate myself on requisitioning the creatures. Any other regiment might have actually won the battle cleanly and efficiently. Also leaving the PDF in its entirety to set a garrison around the new capital, my personal compound, colluding with the insurgents was simple enough, but now it's time to tie up loose ends. The Templars will be sure to wipe them out without asking too many questions. Time for a relaxing bath I think. B Road Trader Stanim Lherzen. Night has fallen at last, and the space boat is under blackout conditions to avoid attracting enemy fire. Makes it all the easier to sneak about. Spot a large-ish, fast looking guard cargo craft. Not as fancy as my old shuttle, damn that orc, but it'll do, it's even got a couple of guns on it. Centaurier ahead to co the guards, don't want to kill any guardsmen now. I swear, that elder woman has been so useful today I could kiss her. Might just do that later. Ladiesmen, here several large incoming troop ships. It looks like the sororitas have decided to turn up to purge the heresy, and they'll be able to do it much better than these chucklefucks have so far. Time to go, I don't want to be melted. All jump on board, and Daenerys has us soaring away in seconds. Tune out the angry yelling of the ATC on the Vox. Damaged Thunderhawk shoots past, coming in hot. Remaining fighters don't fire at us in Imperial colors. Returning to the it's just business, we make immediate preparations to leave. I've had enough of this dang blistered musée, and there's reports of a lost planet elsewhere in Ludum Sector to be contacted. It's cost me my shuttle, my men and my dignity. That scurrilous orc will get away this time, but he's not seen the last of the esteemed and honest Stan Imlhazen, rogue trader of the Imperio. As the ship prepares to break orbit, an orc cruiser comes into view. Take a few passing pot shots, but I'm past caring, even on the chance the freebooter is on board. Looks like it's being boarded by space marines anyway. Good luck to you brave, manly boys. Reality begins to swirl and distort as we enter the warp. New adventures await. Be me, Targwen of the Night Lords 83rd, derailer of threads. Didn't even see the front lines this time. Feels good man. Good job keeping it wholesome lads. Honestly you could have added more weirdness. And a bit of world building too. Hopefully it's not a one-off thing.